So by now, you've probably heard about CC Vault and how it handles network congestion without dropping any transactions, and how it also enables the ability for multi-pool delegation. Let's take a look at CC Vault together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at CC Vault, a little bit of background on the project and how to get it installed. Let's jump in. So as of this filming, CC Vault is one of the newest and most exciting light wallets in the Cardano ecosystem, and is for three main reasons. The first is that they natively support multi-pool delegation, which people have been asking for for a really long time. The second is that using their Chrome web app, you can interact directly with sites like Muesli Swap, Sunday Swap, or your favorite CNFT marketplace. And third, what's brought a lot of attention to it lately, as we see here with the congestion we've been seeing on the network from large NFT drops and all these new projects launching on the ecosystem, is that CC Vault gracefully handles transactions and you can be sure that when you submit one, it will go through and you won't get the kind of errors that you've been seeing. And the reason for this is on the back end, CC Vault utilizes a project called Firehose by Andrew Westberg. There he is. So Andrew is a great member of the community who's put out a lot of really good projects and open sources them for people to use. Firehose is also the back end for Project Drip Drops, which many of you have been excited about and using lately. But the great thing about CC Vault using Firehose behind the scenes is that when you submit a transaction, if the network is highly congested, yeah, it might take a minute for it to go through because there's the back pressure of transactions waiting to go through but you're guaranteed that your transaction won't be dropped and you won't just get an error like you may have seen on Daedalus, Yeroi, or Nami. You can use the wallet in the browser by coming to ccvault.io, but there are also browser extensions and that's what we're gonna install for this demo. It's compatible with other wallets and you can restore to CC Vault from Daedalus or Yoroi, and also utilizing their single address mode, you can also restore from your NAMI wallet as well. And one other thing that we'll point out, once you do get up and running and you're using CC Vault, if you do like the project and you wanna support the team, consider donating and buying a Mesmerizer NFT. Right now they're minting them and it goes for about 22 ADA, and this goes a long way to support the team and help to continue the development of this really great wallet. So okay, with all of that, Let's get started. Let's click on the CC Vault icon here and come back to the main landing page. We can use the wallet right here in the browser, but we wanna be able to interface with dApps on the network, so we're gonna install the browser extension instead. So we're gonna click on Chrome Web Store there, it's gonna open up, and let's go ahead and add it to our browser. We're gonna to add to Brave, let's add the extension. Great, it's been added to Brave. We can come here and let's go ahead and pin it so we always have access to it and let's go ahead and open it up. Awesome. So now, even though the page looks exactly the same, we are now in the Chrome extension. We're no longer on the actual website. And now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a wallet. So from here, you can either create a new wallet with a recovery phrase that they will provide, or you can restore an existing wallet from Daedalus, Yoroi, or Nami. Up above, you'll see tutorials on how to do both. Pick the right one for you, and we'll see you in the next video.